Okay guys, Ham Subtle here, Kilo Zero, Foxtrot, Yankee Romeo. Uh, after trying to go to Diamond Head, uh, I guess I should have done research. Apparently you need reservations. And there's no more reservations and this is my last day. And so, came a little bit further uh, east on the island and I'm on Cocoa Head. Uh, from right where I'm sitting, trying to be in the shade, there isn't much of a view. Uh, but I'll get some pictures uh, once I go up. Have uh, currently a, a packed henna infed half wave uh, set up in the tree. It's going to go down here to my 705. I also have any tone handheld 2 meter with an Ed Fong J pole. See if I can get some local context with that. Kilo Hotel 6 stroke Oscar Hotel 029. Oh, let's see if we can get this activated. Okay, this spot is uh, apparently too close to the radio tower over here, so I'm going to have to move anyway. So, I have to move and uh, reset up everything. So, stay tuned. Yeah, received the four or five Northern California. Uh, I'm on a summit. Kilo zero, Foxtrot, Yankee Romeo. Summits and parks on the air in Oahu, K zero, FYR. So right here, I want to take you a look at this. Uh, this is the bay uh, that uh, the summit was overlooking. And so from atop the summit, you can see either way, uh, all the way down into uh, Honolulu and Diamond Head. And on the POTA app, it shows the... Hananuma Bay Nature Preserve incorporates also the summit down there at the bottom, but yet on the Onyx Trails map, it is city and county of Honolulu. So not to confuse anybody, I went ahead and dropped the POTA aspect of this and just did so. I got one guy immediately, uh, California, and then it's been pretty dead since then. Um, I don't know when the. So every segment of video that I uh, that I copied. I had this problem with it in the middle of it where it would go into slow motion with uh, both the video and the audio. And uh, I think it had something to do with the radar dish that was up there. And so uh, I'm going to go ahead and narrate uh, uh, as long as I can have uh, time to do it for these cuts in between. And then all of a sudden it would speed back up. So uh basically i only ended up getting one single sideband contact nobody on fm locally and so uh the option was well if i want to get it activated i got to switch to ft8 uh, like i had to do on the big island and so i will proceed to uh move to ft8 uh to make the uh, next contacts to try to activate the summit you can see right beside me and they're putting out about a thousand watts so i'm not going to be able to compete with that <sighs> back to ft8 okay. Switch over to FT8 and uh, gonna try that. You know, gotta do what you gotta do. Okay, you have to remember in the SDR control app that uh, I have to go in and change uh, the map grid and the location and the county because it was still set up for when I was in uh, the Big Island. And so uh, if I go in to do the FT8, you have to go in there and switch those parameters. And here's another one of those weird uh, slow motion uh, parts. But I was pointing out that I'm using a Pactena infed half wave for 20 meters. And I have it basically just draped over uh, these uh, bush-like trees, maybe five feet or so off the ground. Uh, and just kind of strung almost horizontal uh, over the tops of those. I didn't really uh, have much of another place to put the antenna. And so had it just sitting up in the tree like that. All right, that up there is Diamond Head where I was planning on activating, but apparently you have to have reservations. There's Honolulu downtown, and we are on the island of Oahu. And I am on Cocoa Head trying to activate this with FT8. And uh, this is the radar dome that I'm talking about, and I'm sitting uh, just outside the fence of that, so that's probably what the problem is. Okay, uh, change locations, change orientation of the antenna. 
uh, still was a, a lot of no joy. And uh, I finally got a Japan station. And so one California, one Japan. And I'm uh, giving it the old college try. Right, uh, one away, just got Fiji. Uh, so yeah, it's been taking a bit, but uh, I'm definitely not gonna try to stay and activate the park. If I'm doing it this way, I'll take the activation I did on the big island that counted. And so this will just be a summit activation. And so uh, if I could uh, get one more, I'm gonna, I'm gonna pack it up and head back in. I uh, gotta catch the flight tonight, go back to the mainland. And so uh, we'll see how it goes. All right, got number four, Japan, uh, just now. It says two Japans, one Fiji, one California. And uh, I think that's going to be good enough. Uh, one was a single sideband, three were FT8. Hey, man, it's four. That's what I needed. And uh, don't, uh, you know, I, I, I'm not going to fight it. You know, I figured this was going to be a hard activation, especially doing QRP. Uh, you know, taking the time to get up here. Uh, this was a little bit of a uh, of a of a hike, uh, about a mile and, and, a, and a quarter from where I parked, uh, and it's only supposed to be an ascent of about you know maybe 550 600 feet, but it's like one big long cement driveway or asphalt driveway at seven degree angle all the way from the bottom to the top for the most part. It levels out just for just for a little bit. It's just like a big giant long asphalt driveway. And so, uh, had some, uh, heel complications before, uh, I even started out. So, you know, it's just one of those things, a little tender, you know, got, got up here, uh, was able to, uh, to activate. Actually, I, I just got another Japan, uh, while I was, uh, letting it sit here in, in auto run. Um, uh, and so, uh, five for the total count. Uh, I think that should be good. Here's a big part of that long asphalt driveway going down. Got to get down there to the uh, tennis court area that's over here. That's where I'm parked at. And so it's pretty much like 400 or more feet ascent, just like that. Just a steep kind of driveway slope. And so this is uh, Ham Solo on uh, Cocoa Head in Oahu. Activated now, summits on the air in Hawaii, parks on the air on the big island. And so got this state done and thank goodness. I uh, wasn't sure if I'd be able to come back at any point in the in the near future. So I uh, appreciate y'all watching, got it finished. I'll go ahead and uh, give Leia and Josh a call on the uh, Ham Radio Crash Course podcast and uh, let them know that it, that it went through. So uh, thanks again, 73.